We're going to briefly talk now about the concept of a stream. And uh, this is something we have never discussed before. Streams are an extremely useful part of Java. Streams technically don't have anything to do with Lambda expressions. However, streams can be built using Lambdas. And so it's one of the most useful uh, uses for Lambdas. And so I want to introduce you the concept of streams so that you can practice writing your Lambdas. So to do that, let's go over to CodingBat, our old friend from CSA. Yes, sir, we're going to do the entire two sections. Uh, you'll be surprised at how quickly you're able to do them. So we're going to go to coding back, and you'll see that there are these two functional sections right here. And I'm going to ask you to go to functional one now. Now, I'm not logged in, but you should log in. I'm not logged in because I don't want you to see the answers. Uh, we're going to, I'm just going to show you how this stream thing works, and then we're going to try and get through as many of these as we can today so that you can get a little practice writing your Lambda expressions. So let's say that I had a list of numbers right here. You can see that this list is right here called nums. And what I want to do is I want to take that list of numbers and I want to replace every number with its double. In other words, if the list is originally one, two, three, I want to end up with two, four, six. Now, it turns out that when the Java developers introduced functional in version eight, they also completely rewrote the collections interface. They completely rewrote it. And they added a bunch of features. And one of the features that they added was that anything that's a collection can now be processed using streams and functional lambdas. So I'm going to show you uh, the, the solution to this one. We're going to talk about it. And then you'll be amazed at how quickly you'll be able to pick this up and use it to solve the other problems. So look over here now. And you'll see that this is all you have to do. Look over here. This you have to do. I'm going to show you two different solutions. The first solution is that you can use this new replace all method that was introduced in Java version 8. And you can use a lambda expression in here and say, take each number in the list and replace it with its double. You can you see I'm using a lambda expression to do this. And believe it or not, this and the return statement, I don't know why they want you to return it, but there you go, you return it. And that's all you need, and you'll see that this will actually work just fine. So you can see how powerful this is now, right? Because you can do all kinds of stuff here with this, this Lambda expression to modify an array list. See that? Now, I'm going to show you another solution also. This one is slightly more involved and it uses streams. We haven't talked about streams yet, but here's what happens. Look, we can go return. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this array list and I'm going to stream it. Now, you know how to stream like on Netflix, right? You have to create a stream and that creates a, a stream of data that comes out of your router and heads to your device and the device gobbles up the data in real time, right? It accepts the stream and it processes it somehow. So what happens here when I do this stream is I'm setting up the data inside this array list to start streaming. Now the stream won't actually start to form until I have a, a terminating operator. Here, the terminating operator is called collect. So let me explain to you the three things that are happening here. I'm gonna stream the data I'm going to take the data that's streaming and I'm going to modify it like this, once again, using a Lambda expression. And then finally, I'm going to turn it back into an array list. I stream the array list. The array list starts shooting its numbers out one at a time. I modify the numbers as they're going by. They're going by on the stream. I modify them as if I'm a worker working on an assembly line and the data is passing on the conveyor belt. I modify the information. And then after I'm all done, we have to turn it back into an array list. This collect is called a terminal operation. It's one of the two or three different terminal operations that streams have. And what this particular collect does is it turns it back into a list, in this case, an array list. So now the return statement here uh, automatically uh, takes this uh, list that's created and returns it. 
So you can see that this is another way to solve the exact same problem. So what I would like you to do today is I would like you to go through this functional one and I would like you to solve each of these problems. There's nine of them. I would like you to solve it using the replace all method that I showed you first, this way right here, right? And then I would like you to solve it using streams. That's right, it, it modifies the existing list uh, in place. And then here we're using the separate return to return the, the list to the caller. So I would like you to go through these nine problems today and solve them each both ways using the replace all as well as the stream. And if you feel bored after that, feel free to go on to functional two, which uh, is only using streams. Now you might be wondering, let me just go over one last thing with you before I let you loose. You might be wondering if we can solve it so much easier using the replace all method, why would we ever need the streams? The advantage of the streams is that we can do multiple layers of processing one after another. You see how we're mapping it? We can do other stuff to it right after that and then other stuff and other stuff. So we can add different people to the conveyor belt, each of whom modifies the, the stream in a different way and we can compound our effects one on top of the other. That's the advantage of streams. The other advantage of streams is that we can break the stream into multiple parts and we can do parallel processing and we'll end the year with some of that. So streams are a gateway to parallel processing, which can dramatically improve the speed of your algorithm. But today we're just gonna do the basics. We're gonna do a replace all and we're gonna do a stream. Let me show you this functional API. You can see some examples of some other things in, in addition to mapping. You can also filter things. And here are some other operations that you can, you can do. Instead of just doing a replace all, you can also do this thing called a remove if. So when you work through this section, you're gonna need to use replace all or remove if when you're using the non-stream solution. And if you're using the stream solution, here are some things that you can do. You can map, you can filter, there's actually a ton of things you can do, which we'll eventually learn. But for this exercise, you only need these two things, the, um, the remove if and the replace all. And for the streams, you only need the map and the filter. So please go and work those exercises, each one both ways.